Introducing my new Head Generator HDA beta version. You can randomly generate a head mesh by feeding in different and unique seed values into the randomized parameter. If you feed in dollar sign $F, which is the current frame in Houdini, you'll be able to drag the timeline around until you see something you like, and then make minor changes on the selected head. The best thing about this is that you can continue to randomize the head, and all the results will be based on your changes. For example, if you prefer a larger head, you can increase the head width and move the timeline to randomly generate even more different heads. The randomization will be based on the updated larger head size. Your changes will accumulate during the randomization. This allows for more possibilities for different head shapes and sizes. After you're done choosing the head you like, you can enable the retopology option, which will recreate cleaner topology for the head mesh. This will allow for faster workflow and optimize the process. You can keep repeating these steps until you refine the geometry. After you're done making your tweaks and changes, remember to enable the retopology option again and remove the dollar sign $F expression so you can keep the generated head mesh as is without having to worry about the timeline anymore. All the head generator nodes integrate with the lip sync HDA tools I released last month. So all you have to do is hook up the head generator to the facial deform for chops node from the lip sync tools. And given that you have all your chops voice tools set up with an audio recording shown in the previous stream, you can make your head mesh talk within a couple of nodes. You'll have to calibrate the facial deformer with your generated head mesh and adjust the deforming radius and deforming scale parameters. I created a color code system to help visualize how much each landmark on the lips is deforming the mouth. Adjust the deforming radius parameters accordingly with a sensible size. This may require some trial and error, but you can use what I have on the screen as reference to what is expected of a radio size. Some characters have mouths more open than others, so I create a parameter to control the threshold of how much you want to open and close the mouth while the character is talking. The deform scale parameter can look like it's affecting the mouth open close threshold during the talking animation, but actuality, the deform scale adjusts how exaggerated the lips will shape into the syllables. It's just sometimes during the speech, there are syllables not being recognized, and it defaults to the plain open and close motion of the mouth to keep a visual talking appearance. I also created a plain head generator for full control, so this doesn't have any randomizing and allows you full control to customize your head. You'll have to tweak each facial featured parameter in order to create a new head. Like all the other head generator nodes, this one is also integrated with my lip sync tools as well. You can hook it up easily to make your character talk but you'll have to go through the same calibration process of adjusting the deforming radius, scale, and open-close threshold. Here I found an issue with the chin having some of its geometry intersecting inside out. This is due to the mouth bay being too large and the retopology feature isn't handling it as well as I would like. A workaround this is to make the mouth smaller, so turn off the retopology option and make some adjustments allowing the mouth muscles to be larger on the outside and the actual mouth lips smaller on the inside. Then turn the retopology option back on to see if the issue is fixed. This will be a temporary workaround as this tool is still in beta. I need to find a way to procedurally detect the intersection and automate the fix. Soon. Hopefully it'll make it to the next update. Perk2 will get all the random head generator nodes and preset themed heads like the alien and stylized head generators. So Perk2 basically gets everything I have. Perk1 members will get the plain head generator without the randomness, so Perk1 will only get the plain generator that has all the same facial features and landmarks as the other one, but you'll just need to adjust the sliders to get a different head manually. Perk2 gets the convenience of the randomizer, which may speed up your workflow. That's the benefit 
of the convenience of the random head generator. It'll automatically decide the facial features for you and you can just scroll around until you see a head shape you like and make adjustments onward. This makes for a faster workflow. Now I realized that the head still needs ears and eyebrows and maybe I'll include a hair generator for future releases. But for now, this is what I have so far for the beta. There's also an alien themed head generator with different presets and different facial features. However, the retopology option isn't available for the alien head because I haven't found a good template for the alien head. And instead, there's a high resolution option that remeshes the geometry based on the curvature. This will be another improvement in the next release. Again, like all the other head generators, this one is also integrated with the lip sync tools. You can make the alien talk after calibrating the deforming parameters. You can download the head generator tools at the link posted in the description. For those that already have the lip sync tools, you'll need to download an updated version as I made changes and fixed a few bugs on the lip sync tools as well. And the head generator does rely on the lip sync tools to work. So you'll have to install all the HDA assets to get everything working. I'll have a more detailed tutorial on the next live stream on how to install, use, and set up the head generator HDA. The next episode in the lip sync mini series on look at constraints is delayed as the head generator HDA took me a lot longer than I expected.